Hello, welcome to Dungeon Heroes Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So today, we're reviewing another zombie movie. I'm probably going to review a couple of zombie movies in a row. I don't know, I'm just in the mood. I think, it was, I think it's because my my internet friend, uh, E.T. Templar, did like a video on Day of the... Not Day of the Day, that's what I'm reviewing. Uh, on the Army of the Dead. And basically said a movie... Like, basically made a movie review saying like how much it sucked and you're just better off watching J- George A. Romero movies and The Return of the Living Dead movies. So I'm like, I took his advice. I uh, saw this one first because uh, I was watching Stranger Things and this mo- this movie had like a little cameo. Uh, not cameo. Uh, like, uh, you know, they had like, you know, uh, like our, the teenage characters which they're teenagers now, if you watch season 3 of Stranger Things, snuck into a movie theater to watch this movie, which, you know, I thought, oh, why not start off with this one? It's on Bit Shoot. And, uh, not, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it wasn't too bad. It's an hour and 43 minutes, directed by George A. Romero, part of the Night of the Living Dead film franchise. It stars Lori Cardile as Sarah. Joseph Palato as Rhodes, Sherman Howard as Bub, George Nicotero as Johnson, Terry Alexander as John, and Jarlath Conroy as McDermott. Which, uh, the movie is about, basically, there's like an underground facility, which the movie was shot in a mine, right? Run by uh, these team of scientists and soldiers, and a couple of like uh, civilian contractors, right? Uh, which is John and McDermott, which are, I think they're both helicopter pilots, I'm not a percent sure. Uh, and the, the movie is basically about how y- you have these characters who are on edge with each other because they're stuck in this mine together uh, during the uh, zombie apocalypse. They haven't heard from anybody in like a long time. They're starting like nerves are starting to get cracked right and the 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 soldiers the military are just really fr- they're really fr- frustrated with the scientists because they keep they keep dying they keep losing men and the scientists have like fuck all to like uh to like you know show for it they can't even agree on which direction they should take their research into right which, you know, I, I, I was more on the side of the, the, the military guys, even though they, they were, like, you know, shown as, like, horny, like, drunken assholes in the movie. And, like, the, the main military guy, Rhodes, was, like, was, like, came off, like, a power-hungry tyrant. Like, like, dude, like, <laughs> Dude, the, the guy was like super high on power. Like he almost he almost killed the one character Sarah because she walked off in a meeting, right? And uh, and the scientists aren't even aren't even that like you know likable. Anyway, you have the one the one scientist who whose name is uh, whose nickname is called is, is uh, Frankenstein, and like his. He, he, he was doing basically retarded retarded like science experiments and was using the, the bodies of the dead soldiers right instead of like the zombies for experiments which really which really pissed off the military guys near the end of the movie and drove them over the edge which who can blame them at that point right but then they show them as hypocrites when like all hell breaks loose and the the main the the, the main guy uh, decides to abandon his, his soldiers, even though the whole point of him going crazy, wanting to kill the scientists, was because they they were getting like fucked over by the like the scientists, like I said. And like the the main scientist's pl- plan to like you know uh, save humanity from the zombie apocalypse is to it, no bullshit domesticate the zombies, right? 
like they're fucking wild animals and shit, which is like the dumbest fucking thing ever. When there are million, like he even said, there's like four thousand to one. That's the ratio of how many zombies there are versus people that are still alive by his uh, by his like uh, c- c- calculations, right? But the main characters of the film are Sarah, who's like this. Uh, she's like the she's basically Ripley or R- yeah Ripley from like. Aliens personality and even her voice like she kind of she fucking even sounded like <laughs> like Rip, Ellen Ripley which you know she's better looking than Ripley which you know she's constantly getting hounded by her like you know by the other dudes and uh, you know j- the hell you have the uh, John who's the helicopter pilot uh, who's Jamaican by the way uh, uh, who really pissed off Sarah in the beginning of the film, but, like, as the movie film gets going, they start to, uh, you know, they, they start to form a fr- she starts to form a friendship with the civilian guys, right? Which, the other civilian guy, McDermott, is, like, an uh, Irishman who has a drinking problem. Uh, yeah. And the Jamaican dude's, like, just constantly, like, there's no, there's no hope in this situation. The world's gonna end. We're being punished by God. Let's just take my helicopter and go, and uh, go find a beach somewhere, <laughs> and this, you know, this spe- spend the rest of the, you know, the like spe- basically spend the rest of our days as partying, right? Which she, like, she gives some shit for that. Then you would like that, wouldn't you? Which her plan is basically to like. You know, try to h- hook up with Washington, uh, which the, you know, which the, they never they never tried at the end of the film. The movie ends with our survivors just head heading to the beach, right? Spoiler alert, but I, I don't want to spoil too much about the movie. Uh, I thought there was some pretty cool special effects in the movie. You get you get to see some of the the people get torn apart by the zombies and practical effects. Well, it looks pretty cool, but my problem with the practical effects is, like, you have, like, literally, you see, like, you know, characters who should be dead while they're getting pulled apart, and they're still, like, living. Like, even, like, the one guy's, like, head is still screaming one, while his head is, like, you know, torn off from his body, and his jaw is fucking moving, right? It, yeah. Which was super dumb. Also, there was the fact that, like, you know, our, you, you have these soldiers who look look like they're, like... Most of the soldiers look like they were, like, you know, middle-aged, like, out of, like, you know, very out, out of... Uh, out of shape, like, like middle-aged guys, man. Like, what? how are the fuck are these guys soldiers? And then when, when you see them fighting the zombies, they're not aiming for the heads. They're aiming for, like, the torso horses and shit, except for the one dude near the end of the movie, but it was like, wow, dude, I, I think I gave, like, <laughs> I, I said the military guys were, like, retar- were kind of dumb in the last movie I reviewed, which was, um, The Girl of All the Gifts. They're a million times smarter than they are in this fucking film, especially since in that film, they had, like, you know, they had suppressors for their guns, and they had, like, hollow point bullets that they would use so that so there would be less blood splatter when they sh- shot and killed the zombies because, you know, um, fluids is one of the forms of transmission, kind of like in uh, 28 Days Later. Yeah, I, th- I think I was a little too harsh with that film. But yeah, the, they make the military guys look like dumb dumbass jocks in, in the film. Uh, though, like, it was mostly Rhodes that was, like, over the top and evil, which is... His performance, I really like that actor's performance, which is why he, he, he's like a favorite in like horror cons. Also, there's a character, there's a zombie named uh, Bob in the movie, who people speculate is one of the uh, SWAT guys from the previous uh, zombie uh, zombie movie before this one by Jer- George A. Romero, which was Dawn of the Living Dead, which I have not seen that one. Uh, that I haven't seen that one. It, that uh, when I I don't know. It's the thing where like I prefer the Zack Snyder one. But it's the thing when I first got into zombie films, like you know, over ten years ago, uh, I had this thing where like I didn't want 
I, I didn't like to watch, like, uh, I don't like to watch, I didn't like at, at the time to watch, like, anything pre-80s. Uh, the only movies pre-80s I would watch were, like, you know, westerns and, and stuff. I, I refused to watch, like, 70s movies for some fucking reason. I don't know because they were too old or bad, like, special effects, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for some reason, I, I, I didn't want to watch, ever watch 70s movies. That, and I don't really like, that might also be, have something to do with the fact that I don't even, I don't like 70s music at all. I'm more of like an 80s guy, and 90s, but yeah. Uh, sorry for the tangent, but yeah, like, this movie, uh, I thought it was, you know, a cool zombie film. You know, it is, like, it's the thing where, like, didn't like how they portrayed the military, but, like, you know, it is what it is. You know, what can you expect from J George A. Romero, who people think is a, uh, like a communist, so... Uh, maybe he is, maybe he is, I don't know. Uh, yeah, if I were to give this movie a rating, I would say it's a, eh, it would, it's a 6.5 out of 10. I, I think it's... I would say it's worth watching once, but that, that's about it. So my next uh, zombie movie I'm going to watch is and review is going to be Return of the Living Dead. So stay tuned for that, guys.